Hi, I'm Dr. Charlotte Durr to provide you a hot tip of the day when ultrasounding the gastric antrum. So we need to know how to assess the gastric antrum in our patients who are preparing for procedural sedation. We have patients that are coming in on GLP-1 agonists, also known as Ozempic and Wygovi, who have delayed gastric emptying. And for this reason, even though they may be fasting several hours, or perhaps they come into the emergency department for procedural sedation and have not been fasting, they're at risk for having residual gastric content, which therefore puts them at risk for aspiration during your procedural sedation. So using gastric ultrasound, you can take a look at that gastric antrum to determine whether or not your patient is at risk for aspiration. So we're going to discuss how to do the GUARD protocol, G-U-A-R-D, gastric ultrasound for aspiration risk determination. Let's show you how it's done. So for probe placement, you'll use your curvilinear transducer placed in the longitudinal orientation at the level of the aorta. So we're gonna come up superiorly and you're going to see the gastric antrum, which is fluid filled here in our model, snug up right next to the medial portion of the liver. So at this point, we wanna go ahead and center up the gastric antrum, freeze, and then use your tracing tool, which will give you a cross-sectional area. So we're gonna trace around the outer edge of the gastric antrum, to estimate the cross-sectional area of the liquid contents that we're seeing on our patient. And we got a cross-sectional area of 14.78 centimeters squared. So now we'll take that 14.78 centimeters squared and we'll take a look at a chart from gastricultrasound.org and use this plus the patient's age to see if she is at risk for aspiration. I will say that patients with an empty stomach will have more of a bullseye type appearance and those that have recently eaten will have more of a complex echo texture to the stomach. And those patients that have a complex appearance to the stomach contents, they are already considered high risk and will not require a gastric cross-sectional area determination. For the guard protocol, if your patient is unable to lay in the right lateral decubitus position, you can also start the protocol with the patient's supine and see if you identify any fluid in the gastric antrum at that point. This might be particularly important for patients that have an injury, for example, perhaps they come in for an ankle fracture dislocation and you're getting ready to perform procedural sedation. That patient may have more difficulty turning into that right lateral decubitus position. So in that case, I would start with the patient's supine. The benefit to having the patient in the right lateral decubitus position is that any fluid which may be in the body of the stomach will then be able to roll forward into a more gravity dependent position of the gastric antrum making your ultrasound scan more sensitive for the detection of that fluid. That's my hot tip of the day. Now it's your turn to try.